Trail cameras are used to monitor wildlife activity and are used by hunters, researchers, and enthusiasts. They allow people to understand the natural movement patterns of animals while minimizing the amount of human interference or presence in the area. The cameras can be left out to their data for weeks or months at a time with little to no maintenance or upkeep. They are triggered by a combination of heat and motion using passive infrared sensors. They can capture pictures and video with audio and operate at temperatures as low as negative 40 degrees Celsius, but cold temperatures can result in decreases in battery life. The camera can detect motion up to 100 feet away, but it is dependent on the target's range and ambient temperature of the surrounding environment. The detection angle is cone-shaped and approximately 45 degrees. In this project, Reconix Hyperfire cameras are used, so the instructions and parts of this video are specific to that make and model, but the setup of principles apply to all cameras on the market. To operate, the cameras require 12 AA lithium batteries and an SD card. To access them, open the latch on the right of the camera. A 16 GB memory card will store approximately 40,000 pictures or 1.5 hours of video. Never remove the SD card while the camera power is on and make sure the card is not locked by the small slider on the left side. Larger cards, like 32 GB, are needed if you plan to record mostly video. Turn the camera on by sliding the switch. If this is the first time turning it on, set the date and time. Press the up arrow until the correct year. Press right arrow to set correct month using up arrow. Press right arrow to select correct day using up arrow. Press OK. On time format screen, select 24 hour. Press OK. Set time using up arrow to correct hour. Press right arrow and select correct minute. Press OK. For location, press right arrow, select other, press OK. Set lat long, skip. For temperature, press right arrow to select Celsius, press OK. For battery type, select lithium, press OK. Your camera is now set up. In most cases, the other settings are best left on default. If you want to change any of these, for example to take time-lapse photos, then follow the directions in the user manual and write down what you choose. Locate a secure post, tree, or building where there is no risk of the camera falling. Ensure there are no large objects or foliage that could obstruct the camera's view or trigger false movement. Try to mount the camera as level as possible for a greater view range and at approximate eye of the target animal. It is best to mount the camera in a shaded area to avoid sun glare or shadows as they may trigger false motion detection. Position the camera so that it does not face the rising or setting sun. The cameras are built to withstand weather events, but ensure that it is not at risk of being submerged by snowdrifts or rising water. Once the right location for the camera has been chosen, place the security box against the mounting object. Screw four leg bolts in the post through the back of the enclosure. For bears, setting the camera up about 90 centimeters off the ground is ideal. Walk test will determine the camera's area of active motion and make sure it's working. To enter walk test mode, turn the camera on, click the right arrow button until walk test is on the screen, and press OK. The camera is now in walk test mode. Once you've entered walk test mode, place the camera at the desired location. Walk in front of the camera within target range in a sweeping motion. Every time the red light flashes, it has indicated detected motion. Ensure that you are walking at the approximate height of your target animal. If left in walk test mode, after two minutes of no detected motion, the camera will automatically arm itself. This allows you to set the camera up, check its aim using walk test, and then walk away. To skip the walk test, just select arm. After performing the walk test, place the front cover on the enclosure with a sliding down motion and secure it closed with a nut and bolt through the space at the front with the correct tools. This prevents wildlife or human tampering.
When checking the camera out in the field, bring an extra SD card along to swap out placed in a baggie or small roof case. It's important to keep the cards as warm and dry as possible and take special care when inserting and removing them from the camera. You'll also need 12 fresh AA lithium batteries and the proper tools to open the security enclosures nut and bolt. Open the camera and press OK. The screen will show the total number of pictures taken and how full the SD card is. Lith indicates how much battery life is left. Batteries should be replaced once a year, whether they are low or not. Turn the camera off by sliding the switch. Remove the SD card by pressing it in until it clicks and letting it pop out. Lock the SD card with the pictures on it to prevent accidentally leaving them. Then swap it out with the empty second SD card. Turn the camera back on and check the battery power. Enter the camera into walk test mode and place it back into the security enclosure. 